Hello Hunters, today I bring you an insanely powerful Savage Axe Charge Blade build for Title Update 5. This build gives you infinite stamina and sharpness which allows you to perform spinning slash into air dash non-stop. The monsters will be shredded into little pieces by this build. If you prefer SAD playstyle, you can also check out my other Charge Blade builds in the description below. Now, without further ado, let's get started. The Charge Blade we are using is from Amatsu. Now the reason we are choosing this weapon is it has a really high roll and a small amount of purple sharpness. We will not be losing sharpness at all in this build, so it will be kept at purple at all time. And don't worry about the negative 25 affinity, with the rest of the skills we can boost it up to 100% affinity. The helmet is Ryzen Kaiser Horns from Ryzen Teostra, with Intrepid Jewel Level 3 and Mighty Jewel. Tempest Robe from Amatsu, with Attack Jewel Level 4, Mighty Jewel Level 4 and Cornerstone Jewel. Tempest Sleeves from Amatsu again with Expert Jewel Level 4, Hard Defense Jewel and Shockproof Jewel for Multiplayer. Wojo Coil from Ryzen Shagaru with Jumping Jewel Level 4, Blooding Jewel and Cornerstone Jewel. The Legs are also from Amatsu with Attack Jewel Level 4, Chain Jewel Level 4 and Cornerstone Jewel. My Talisman has 2 level Attack Boost, 3 level Stun Resistance, a level 3 slot, level 2 slot and a level 1 slot. On that, I slot in Blood in Jewel Level 3, Attack Jewel Level 2, and Cornerstone Jewel. For the augmentations, on the weapon, we are going full attack, and the rest of the 2 slot goes to Elemental Boost. On the helmet, I have Blood Lost. On the chest, I have Defiance. On the gloves, I have Burst and Loose Latent Power. On the waist, I have Level 3 slot upgrade and the Level 1 slot. And finally, on the legs, I have Wind Mental and another Level 1 slot. Now here's all the skills you should have, Attack Boost level 7, Defense Boost level 5, Defiance level 5, bring Defiance to level 5 will allow us to tank any rolls and wind pressure, so we won't be losing Heaven Sent, Critical Eye level 4, Critical Boost level 3, Weaknesses Boy level 3, Max Might level 3. Now this is one of the skills made possible by Amatsu's Armor Set. Because we are no longer losing stamina, we can stay in X mode for majority of the time and use dodge to avoid monster stack as well as close gaps. Stun resistance level 3. We need this skill because air dash gives us hyper armor which will again help us to tank monsters attack without losing heaven sent. However, we are still taking damage so this is to prevent us from get stun. Burst is always good at damage skill for Savage X playstyle. Heaven Sand is from Amatsu's armor set. This is the core skill. This will proc around 15 seconds into the fight. And with this skill active, we won't be losing any sharpness and we will also have infinite stamina. Now even if we do lose sharpness, we can simply just perform a switch skill swap to regain the sharpness. Evade Extender level 2. This is always a good skill to have. It will help us to dodge monsters attack much easier. Blood Red level 2 is to give us additional survivability so that we don't have to stop healing ourselves and just concentrate on attacking. Blood loss level 2, it will give us 20% affinity, which evens out with negative 20% on the weapon. However, we do have 50% from weakness deployed, 30% from max might, and 20% from critical eye. That gives us 100% affinity. Intrepid Heart level 2, this skill is mandatory when you're playing Heaven Sent. It will allow us to take a free hit as we deal damage to the monster. And with Savage Axe playstyle, it's really easy to build up the gauge for Intrepid Heart. Wind Mental, Part Mental, and Frenzy Bloodlust, they all come from the armor or augmentations, they are not mandatory. And finally, Shock Absorber is for multiplayer. There's no mandatory food skills, but I recommend Dango Booster, Dango Wigner, and Dango Moxie. For the switch skills, I'm mainly using Blue Scroll. For that, I need Condensed Spinning Slash, Ready Stance, and Air Dash. Now the playstyle is to charge your blade, perform condensed spinning slash, and use air dash to deal damage. The animation of air dash gives us hyper armor, so we won't be losing heaven sent even if we get hit. Now sometimes I also swap to red score for counter peak performance, just so that I can charge my file at the beginning of the fight. Now there you have it, my heaven sent savage axe charge blade build. I have been using this build to fight Ryzen Shagaru Magala, which is right now the most difficult monster in this game and this build made this monster so much easier. Now I hope you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.